Hey, it's Mara from Matter Hackers, and I am here with Bob Claggett from YouTube's I Like to Make Stuff. We have had a really exciting week at Matter Hackers with Bob in town from Savannah. We, of course, are in Orange County, California. That's a little bit of a ways. Yeah, a little bit. Yep. Um, but um, welcome to our home. Thanks. I hope you've had a good time. Yeah, this has been awesome. Yeah. Um, so last night, we had to catch everybody up. So last night, we had a meetup um, where we just invited the community to um, come down to Matter Hackers and um, just hang out. And uh, we revealed this massive build that, um, that Bob and um, Dave from Matter Hackers and the team at Matter Hackers have been working on all week. So uh, let's talk about it. Should we, should we do the reveal first? And like, yeah. spoiler alert, it yeah. was... It was a foosball table. It was a foosball table yeah. and it was really cool. So what was special about this foosball table? Uh, well, it was really cool because we built it mostly in the parking lot in like two days. So I think that's pretty cool. But uh, it had over 100 and 140 3D printed parts, which is really wow. pretty amazing. And yeah. that was all done here, which was awesome. I came in and all that stuff was ready. Pretty amazing. That and, didn't uh, happen in two days. <laughs> yeah, that was done <laughs> well before. Yeah, but we came in and, and kind of slapped the table together in the parking lot really quickly, and it was a lot of fun. It was cool. Yeah, it was pretty amazing. I mean, literally, pile of wood on Monday turned into functional foosball table. People playing it for three yeah. hours straight yeah. uh, on Wednesday night. So, how did this all start? How did this collaboration happen? So, I've been talking to Dave here at Matter Hackers for quite a while. Um, and I've started using your filaments and the grate. And so he was, uh, we've been talking through that, like how could we start to do something together? And he came up with the, the idea of doing a foosball table without me, and you guys were just gonna build it. And he realized that he was basically thinking through a project that I would typically do. So he just reached out and said, hey, can we do this together? Funny thing is, a foosball table has been on my list for like a year. Oh, and karma. Yeah, yes. so, it, you know, we just, it was a, it was a perfect match, so. Yeah, we made it happen. That's awesome. Well, I know Dave is, has been a big fan of yours uh, yeah. for a long time. You are how many subscribers at this point? Uh, one point two million. One point two million subscribers. So we don't need to really introduce you to anybody <laughs> because everybody is already a subscriber. I don't know about that. Um, well, I know Dave was, and a yeah. lot of uh, people at Matter Hackers have been following your work and have been huge fans. So it's just been a thrill to have you in the building. Um, and we had some of your friends come, uh, some other people that you've worked with last night. Yeah. Um, which was yeah. pretty cool. That was really cool. It's always good to get people together just to like talk about stuff that they're all interested in at the same time. Meetups like that are great. Yeah. So what have been, um, you, you've collaborated with a lot of <clears throat> different makers and you know, how long has your, your YouTube channel been, been up and running? It's been up for about three years, I think, something like that. So and then I, I went full time about a year and a half ago. Yeah. So it's, it really took off kind of after that. Okay. So in your three years of building stuff, um, you've had a lot of really great um, uh, experiences with yeah. different makers. So yeah. what have been some of your favorite collaborations? Oh man! Besides Matter Hackers, of course. Well, this is this is honestly this has been like one of the coolest. I was telling Dave earlier, this has been one of the coolest work trips I've done because I actually get to work. It's not just talking to people and like building something. Yeah. And that's super enjoyable. Um, another one, I uh, went up to see Bill from Punish Props, Bill and Brittany, Yay. and that was really amazing. It was a weekend of, of 3D printing and building stuff for their shop, and we did a, uh, a life cast of me, so they covered my whole head in goop, and that was a great one. You know, we both got some really good content out of that and got to know each other better, so that's good. Um, I don't know, and every time I travel to, like, a maker fair, I'm always interacting with other makers, whether they're, you know, YouTube people or just people who make stuff in their garage. That's always amazing, just to see stuff that people make, and uh, people are just so eager to share what they've made and how they've made it, and that's just really energizing. Yeah. yeah. So you also do some work with Tested, Tested.com? I've never done anything with them directly. Oh, okay. Yeah. So what is next? Like, what are some, what are some collaborations that you would like to, <laughs> to be doing? I'm, well, I don't want to spoil any of them, okay. and I don't want to commit to any of them, but there, there's a lot of uh, people who do really interesting stuff on YouTube that I'm talking with that we both want to figure out a way to work together, and it's really just a matter of like figuring out something that makes sense for both, both of our skill sets. That's the tough thing that I've found. You know? um, like here, in this particular one, working with you guys, the, the speed at which you can 3D print 146 parts is amazing. Um, and then I can bring some simple woodwork stuff and we can jam it together. Collaborating with, you know, other people who have the same skill sets as I do is tough because we just have to find like a really good reason to do it, you know? Yeah. So I've got a bunch of people that 
I would love to work with. Um, we just haven't figured them out yet. Right. So. <laughs> with, uh, with this project, I would imagine um, that every time you do a collaboration, um, I don't know, uh, when you collaborate with somebody, there's, there's always, it's always good if you learn something. Like, yeah. by, you know, it's like you said, if you're collaborating with people that you both do the same thing, it's like, all right, but yeah. doing something different, you get to learn something. What did you learn from uh, doing the foosball table with Matter Hackers? Well, uh, mainly material stuff. Like, I, I've only 3D printed, I think I've only print, 3D printed with PLA. And so my experience of the material qualities is pretty limited. And so the stuff that, that you guys printed for this project was, I believe, all nylon and all nylon X which is a whole different level of strength and process to get it printed. And so I learned a bunch about what it takes to use that stuff effectively for some future projects that I have planned. And so, yeah, I think material stuff, uh, what's available and how to use it, that's been a lot, of, a lot of learning for me on that front. Well, we have Bob Claggett from I Like to Make Stuff on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. I am Mara from Matter Hackers. And for more information about future meetups and other collaborations that we'll be involved in, go to matterhackers.com. Thank you for watching. If you liked that, subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with all the latest videos. And don't forget, go to matterhackers.com to shop for everything 3D printing.